Hey one and all, this is Gandalf0987. I am here with a game pickups video. I haven't done this in a while. I don't really feel like talking today. I'm not sick or anything, I just don't feel like it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway because I found some cool stuff that I want to share and some really good deals I consider and actually have some thrift store finds, which I never find thrift store games anymore where I live. And granted, I did travel a little farther to go to this thrift store. And I've got some great half price books deals, which they're definitely worth checking out because they have good deals every now and then. Well, I'm not going to take up all your time. I'm going to get right into it. Um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance Special Edition. This was bought from Amazon. I only paid $22, $23 for it. I used Amazon Credit, which I had. Uh, from a great seller called Declutter. It is complete with the bonus disc, the manual, and the game disc. It's like a $30 game or more because uh, only the Platinum Hits Special Edition. Some people call it the Gold Edition, but it's Special Edition has uh, all the extra material. The eight new playable characters and all the stuff that you'd have to normally download, which unfortunately isn't available for download anymore if I remember correctly. Not really familiar with this game. I have played it some. I'm looking forward to checking it out. Just got this from eBay yesterday. Pac-Man World 3. It is complete. It's getting hard, rare and hard to find. And I love the 3D Pac-Man games. When I saw how good the graphics are, the cartridge is somewhere else right now. Um, I really want to check it out. I only paid, I want to say, 14 for this. It's a game for DS, I don't know if you guys have heard of, called Nervous Brickdown. It's just a, a Arkanoid type of block game where you, you know, hit the ball with the paddle and make and, and hit the blocks. And there's all kinds of modes and, and game styles, and it's just a lot of fun. It says 135 levels, uh, 10 unique modes, lots of gameplay in this. Uh, definitely worth checking out. You can find the cart only pretty easily. Sometimes complete for this is a little harder. But it's from Secret Stash Games. It's a fun game, though. I did find Sideswiped also on Amazon. Now, this is a rare game. I got lucky and found it for just uh, 10 or $14, I think it was, total. Used Amazon Credit to buy it. And it is complete. It's a burnout kind of style arcade uh, racing game. Uh, it's complete with everything. I do have a cart only of this that I just picked up. I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, I just got this the other day. I just really wanted it off Amazon. Crash Bandicoot 2. He said it was black label. I paid 14 for this. He sent me the green one. I let him know. And this seller was so amazing. He was like, he basically said, I can keep this game, sell it, give it away, whatever I want to do. And he's going to send me the black label one for, for no charge. So he's going to send me the other black label version as well. Crash 2 is a game I still have not played through. I've only played like the first eight levels. I really gotta, I really gotta finish and play it because uh, it's Crash Bandicoot 2. I mean, I haven't even played completed Crash Bandicoot 3. Uh, I've completed Crash Team Racing, but I've never played through Crash Bash. As big a fan of Crash I am, I just respect the games a lot, and I want to wait till I have some free time to finally get through them and play through them. Um, but let's continue on. This was an eBay buy, Asher Boy. This game's getting harder and harder to find. Paid $25 for it. That's a price I was willing to pay. But let me say, this game is excellent. I almost would want to say it's worth the price it goes for nowadays, which is $40 or more. Um, I played this when it came out. I was working at GameStop back in the 2004, 2003 time that it came out is excellent game developed by treasure you got to play it just play it any way that you, you possibly can gratis galaxies picked up another copy from uh gamestop.com okay speaking of that that's where i found side swipe the card only and this is the cool little case i showed you guys earlier there's princess peach i bought for 15 it's called super princess peach it's for the nintendo ds it's an arcade platform game i considered it to be really fun I don't think I showed this in the last video. This is Dig Dug Digging Strike. Found it for $8 on eBay, believe it or not. And uh, I haven't played it much. There's the Pac-Man World 3 cartridge. 
I'm really excited for you guys for me to get to the I'm gonna save the best for last though this is a half price books find uh, one I'm sorry this is the thrift store I went to three days ago 102 Dalmatians it was 25% off six dollars so I paid less than six for some reason this game goes for over ten dollars I'm not sure why I have 101 Dalmatians part two this one is a 3D platformer really similar to Spyro the Dragon, which is really impressive. It's, impressive. it's actually developed by Crystal Dynamics, which is interesting. It says there's 20 levels and six mini games. I haven't played any mini games yet, but I've only tried it out a little bit. This is a game for kids. This was $3.99 at uh, half price. It's Mulan Story Studio. It's basically a bunch of mini games that are really simple, meant for young kids. Uh, it's rated E for everyone, but it's really like for younger kids, maybe five years old to eight years old. It says ages four to eight, actually. But, uh, yeah, I like having these obscure games in my collection. Like, I've got my Disney Kitchen, I think I found a while back. So, this was also half price for 3 nights. It's Pac-Man Fever. I never see this game. I'd like to try it out. Complete for the GameCube. A little rough condition, but... I think it should play. I, I'll pay $3.99 for this. I don't have very many GameCube games, so figure why not. Flipnik found this for cheap on Amazon. This game's worth checking out, you guys. This game grabbed me from the first time I ever found it way back in probably 2008. Uh, it's a 2003 game. It's a pinball game, but it's a little different. It has wild, uh, fantastical locations. The first stage, you are in a jungle type area, and there's just it's just it's just wacky and kind of far out. It's not really realistic. It's more surrealistic. They're 3D environments. The graphics are absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, in my opinion. Actually, this is a 2005 game. I'm sorry, I'm not sure why I thought it was 2003. There's all kinds of just little modes in. Uh, extra challenges you can do and just it's just a different take on pinball it's totally different it's not normal I think the music and the presentation in this game is absolutely beautiful and I just keep coming back to this I tend to like pinball video games but this one is probably one of the best that I own or have ever played it's awesome it's just it's super addicting and it's just great 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 gameplay Definitely check it out, guys. Get it while it's cheap. Flipnik for the PlayStation 2. Here's another Hidden Gem, Cold Winter. This is a mature game. It's got some gore and violence. It's a first-person game. It's uh, it's a really well-made game. I've heard a lot of good things about it. It is very short, though. This was a cheap buy, but sometimes this game goes for over $10. So uh, see if you can get it. I bought that from Amazon. I did own it in the past, but uh, I need to hurry up and finish. This is a PSP. I bought this at half price. I've actually been wanting the PSP. So when they had this for $60 and I had, it was half off that day. I had a coupon, so I only paid about $32 after tax. It comes with a one gigabyte memory stick. I don't have any games, but I had games from back when I owned a PS3. So I downloaded you know, some PS1 classics like Spyro, Ripto's Rage, and uh, Pac-Man Championship Edition. Just just really cool to have. It works great. It's got some scratches on the screen, but I did buy this on Amazon. I've got another game coming in the mail, Sid Meier's Pirates. I love Pirates. Probably one of my favorite games on the Xbox original. It's a strategy game. It's a lot of fun. Kind of an update of the original. This is pretty cheap on Amazon. It was $9 total. Not that bad. Uh, East Starland buy, Championship Bowling. Use credit to get it. It's complete for $10, so that's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good, in my opinion. They reseal them. That's why it's sealed like this. It's not brand new. Played this game as a kid. I have a lot of memories of it. And, you know, I like collecting box games. Okay, I'm going to... I obviously saved the best for last. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one first because I think it's the best or the second best Went to a Salvation Army thrift store. They had NES games in the case about 10 of them 
And of course, I know my games and what they're worth, so picked out the ones that were good. Guerrilla War, card only. Road Blasters, card only. Turtles 3, believe it or not, was there. Manhattan Project, great condition. And Mario Brothers 2, great condition. Now these games were $4 a piece, and that's just awesome. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. I, I, there were some more games there, but they were commons like Mario Duck Hunt, Track and Field, games that I don't really care to own for $4. Any NES game you can find under 5 is a deal, in my opinion. It's definitely a deal. And this is the half price deal that this is just awesome. I had a bunch of movies to trade. I got $12 credit. This was $3, believe it or not. Wario World for 3 bucks. The reason this caught my eye is I have been wanting this game for so long, and it's not even real expensive. It's only about almost $30 complete, 25 to 30 But I've been putting off buying it because I just don't want to spend the money. And then I found it, and it doesn't have a manual. But, you know, for 3 bucks, I was so excited. I, I got it, you know, didn't have to pay anything for it because I had credit there. And on top of that, I'm, I looked at the Game Boy Advance games and found Rock and Roll Racing, which is another Game Boy Advance game I've been wanting. And this was only $10. So I paid $0.50 cents out of pocket for these two games. I was so ecstatic and happy. So I did that right before I found the NES games. So the NES games was just made it a perfect day for me. Because as a collector, that's what you want to find. You want to find the games for... I knew that would happen. My camera shuts off. As I was saying, uh, you want to find games for almost nothing as a collector. So when you uh, when you find them like that, it's just it's just a blessing, and it's just so awesome. I couldn't believe Warrior World was there. I wanted this so bad. I just never played it before. I wanted to try it out. Well, now I can. Um, just an excellent. Uh, an interesting 3D game. I haven't played it much. I played it a little. I actually like it so far. It's really different. It still feels like Wario, but it's weird because it's 3D. Rock and Roll Racing is a game by Blizzard. Now, Blizzard put out... It's called Classic Arcade, where they're putting their old Super Nintendo and Sega releases on the Game Boy. And they're getting hard to find. Like, I just found Blackthorn. Which I believe is a Game Boy and a, or a Super Nintendo and a Sega Genesis game that they released, and it's for some reason thirty dollars. And I, when I found this for ten, it usually goes for over thirty on the internet. So I couldn't be happier. Rock and Roll Racing, been wanting to play this too. So that was just a joy. And finding Mario Brothers two and Manhattan Project for four bucks each. Anyway, I'm gonna stop bragging, you guys. The deals are out there. You just have to happen to be there at the right time i guess and hope that someone has traded in some good things and that the store is selling it i know a lot of stores nowadays they like to raise the prices of these games and it's really frustrating because they'll even raise them higher than they are online and it's just you can't even pick it up then because you know you could bring it home then today but you're paying more for it and it's just not worth it so I, I truly try hard to find the best deals, and it's difficult, but I just wish the best, only the best for you guys, because it, it is a good feeling when you can find these games for cheap. But I uh, hope you all are doing well, and uh, I'll see you next video. God bless. Take care. See you next time.